Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check the links below to help support a starving artist and the Tampa Corsairs. Check you later. And here we are starting one of the first videos I'm doing, and this is going to be a simple painting of an outdoor scene. I am using yellow medium, simple acrylic stuff, don't get the expensive stuff. Raw umber is raw umber, not burnt umber, raw umber. Not that it really makes a difference. And also ultramarine! Oorah. I'm not a marine, but I respect them. Light blue permanent, if you can find it. Good luck. And finally, plenty of titanium white. This is probably the one paint that I always have to have. The, and yes, the canvas and the white are the same. We know. Moving on. But yeah, you always want plenty of white. You can still see the night in the back. And my three junk brushes. A small, two small points. One's wide, one's regular. And a broad brush, mainly because you just don't need anything else. And a dog bowl of water. Not a regular bowl. If you use a regular bowl, you're a chump. And now, ludicrous speed, go! What, you thought I was gonna actually gonna show you? That's gonna be later. But, as you can see here, I'm basically just starting with the base coat. Making it beautiful, mixing colors. Not really slowing down, because I'm going ludicrous speed. And one thing I always really try to stress whenever I'm doing any kind of painting, when you're working with acrylic, be prepared to do it in layers. And starting from the background forward, that's one way of doing it, but if you're just gonna improvise it, yeah, go for it. Using that small brush for my finer details, the walkway, little patches of grass, little things like that. And just, whenever you're getting any of your base coat done, it's basically just winging it. Oh, but look what I'm adding. Take a close look. I had a little white dot for the eye and an arm sticking out behind that tree. For anybody that doesn't know, that's a car salesman. And we're going to use red, brown, and black paint markers. The red and the brown markers were actually just like Sharpies and regular markers. And I'm using that because I can add the black paint marker and smudge, or I can keep them fine lines with the black marker. And this is after this paint's dried, by the way.